Oh, makeup void i'm trinity may and welcome or welcome back to my channel it is another month we are in march so we are doing my february favorites by usage i'm calling this my february mvps these are the products that i use the most in february by category and we have a lot of finished products this month so some categories have like two mvps but we still have a lot so let's go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel the goal is 500 subscribers this year hopefully more fingers crossed let's go ahead and get rolling so I don't necessarily have all the products in front of me because they are in an empties bin like over on this side of me and I have mousse on me kneading so don't have everything but for primers these elf salicylid potted putty primer that was finished after 11 uses so happy to have that used up and but it's not the legit mvp the legit mvp is the elf power grip primer and i use this a total of 15 times so i can definitely see this being an mvp and an empty by the end of march super excited for that foundations i mvp has to go to the misha bb cream this is also the bb cream on my skin today and my goal is to use up two foundations before i purchase another one and the temptations urban decay just teased a new like matte foundation and i'm just screaming inside so I want to use this up before I purchase it and I made another line. So this was from last year and this is the line I just did as of late. So will I have this used up by the end of March? Maybe. My MVP of last month was the Catrice True Skin Foundation and I want to use all these products I just want to use up so badly. I didn't write how many uses I had on that I but I, I think I used the Catrice True Skin Foundation like 11 times and every time I use it I'm like this is the last, this is the last time I use it. The pump is getting a little bit hard to take out but it still, it still keeps going. So for concealer, again another empty. After five uses I used up the Catrice True Skin Concealer and now I am set on the Coking Concealer which I use a total of 12 times. I also use this concealer today. I did dabble around with other concealers. You'll see that like maybe my MVPs can be like 10 plus uses as of next month but I, I there is a I removed the stopper out of this concealer and there is so much product left in here so will we see this emptied by the end of march probably not i i don't remember i think my concealers are two in two out one in roll again so i'm trying to focus on this but i have other concealers that i ha might have a little bit help using up so we will see about that Another empty, so many empties for February, it's fantastic. The MVP powder for February is the Ulta Beauty Mineral Mineral Setting Powder. Now, I do have, so I use this, I finished this in 13 uses. And my number two MVP is the Koki, or not the Koki, the Kosas Powder. My Kosas Powder broke, so I took the broken, like this is like the top of it broke. Not the whole thing, just the top of it. So I ended up taking the broken top part and putting it in here. So my goal for March is to use up the powder that's in here. And I'll call it an empty if I use it up. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We will see. Okay, I only have one setting mist. I used up the e.l.f. The e.l.f. The green setting spray. And I... It only took me like three times because there was so little product left. And I'm, I'm just tracking usage on this because I'm curious. But it's a Pixi Makeup Fixie Mist with rose water and green tea. In my makeup routine, here's how it goes. 
this is always going to be MVP. The CoverGirl Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is the first thing I put on my skin every morning. I don't track usage on this. Actually, this is the second time I've used this. Maybe I will track usage on this because I want to see how many uses it takes to use up. I'm just curious. My numbers this year is just out of sheer curiosity. How many, how many things can I use up in a year? How many products? Like, how long does it take to use their products? That's kind of the overall goal for this year. But yeah. I use this so it's a moisturizer it's this then it's followed by my sunscreen and MVP I'm not tracking usage on this but it's the bliss block star visible daily sunscreen I just love this sunscreen it is my absolute favorite sunscreen I tried a lot of different sunscreens last year and bliss just always rose to the top so that's also a MVP <laughs> another empty MVP bronzer for March or February. For February was the e.l.f. Contour Wand in the shade Fair Light. I only had to use that a total of eight times to finish it, but honorable mention of most used bronzers, it's in here. Where is it? I don't know. It's Milani cream powder or cream bronzer that came out in like December. I used that a total of six times, but we'll get into so face palettes are coming face palettes are coming so a lot of so even so you're thinking like eight for contour six oh, isn't there like 29 days in february where are the numbers come where are the, where are the other bronzers i use bronzer every day we'll get to it with the face palettes blush about face champagne room uses a total of 18 times my usage goal for blushes is 50 uses or pan and I use this. I love this blush. It's the blush on my cheeks today. I did top it with the Catrice Air Blush Glow Blush in the shade Rosy Love because I just wanted more blush today. I just wanted more blush but About Face is beautiful on its own. I want to get it in another formula. Maybe they're orange. Maybe they're coral. I don't know but I can't buy another blush. I did declutter two blushes in February. To be fair, I decluttered two blushes in February. And one is all the way back there. It is the Ulta Beauty, like, chubby f cheek and lip in social. I don't care for that product as a blush. I don't care for it as a lip balm. I'm just decluttering it. And then the other blush I'm decluttering is Flower Blush Balm in the shade Cheeky. Just because, look how pink that product is. You want to smell it? You want to smell it? You can't eat it. Can't eat it. But... <laughs> This is just this beautiful pink color and on the cheeks it just looks so dark and muted. It's not cute. It doesn't blend out well. So I'm decluttering that. But I used that one time and decided to declutter it. Highlighter, Nabla, Ozone. I used it a total 17 times. Again, panning goals. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but it's like 50 uses or hit pan. So I technically already hit pan on a highlighter. I only use this highlighter one time, so I hit paint on it. So whatever. Brows are the same freaking thing every single day. It is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Taupe. And then I have the, I'm assuming this is Taupe in the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. I just, this is 3 or $4. This is 4 or $5. I keep my brow simple. I use the Wow Brow... 13 times in February. I don't use a brow gel every single day, mostly because I forget. And then this is a new brow pencil. So my old one of these, I use a total of 23 times in February. And then this pencil, I used five times. So this one I'm tracking separately because I want to know how many uses I get out of this because it's so affordable, but there's so little product in here. So, and I just bought two more. <laughs> So I won't be trying any new brow pencils for a while because I used up and I don't care to try new brow pencils, but I might. We will see. Eye primer. Well, no, we're going to face palettes. So the this is where the other bronzer numbers come in. Did I mention Kaleidos in here? I'm pretty sure I hit pan in the Kaleidos bronzer in here. So itty bitty baby pan, but I hit pan in it. 
So the face palette that was MVP is the Ulta Beauty Baked Sculpt and Glow in the shade California Sunlight. And I pretty much only use this for the bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's glowy. It's seamless on the skin. It is absolutely stunning. I use this eight times. And the runner-up, which will probably be an MVP for March, I'm just predicting it, is the Midas Cosmetics Dawn Face Palette. Rest in peace, Midas. But I just kind of, oh, I don't want to lose a cat. <laughs> He's stretching out, but I dominantly use the bronzer and the contour. You can barely tell this is cooler. You can barely tell this is warmer, but I use this whole six times. This is the bronzer and contour on my face today, so we can expect this to be an MVP next month because those are the next bronzer products that I'm going to focus on hitting pan on. Milani eyeshadow primer MVP. I'm trying to use this up. I did use the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer a f like four or five times in February. <sighs> Wanting to get some use out of it, but I'm trying to use a Milani because I like Ulta more. So why am I using a product I dislike less? Because I still love Mil Mil Milani eyeshadow primer. I still do. I still think it's great. But I like the Ulta just like 1% more. Just slightly more. Uh, mascara is hard. I MVP is the Essence Waterproof Mascara. Now I have four mascaras open and I don't have a mindset of, oh, I'm going to try to use up a mascara. I pretty much give each of them, these are going to stretch out beyond three or four months because tracking mascara uses, like, they're going to be lasting longer than the three or four months but that's generally what I do with mascara. It's just Essence Waterproof. I used it nine times, some of them on their own, some as a topper, some for just for the lower lash line. But it's MVP by usage. It's not MVP because it's my absolute favorite mascara. So keep that in mind. Moving on to eyeshadows. The eyeshadow... <laughs> okay, so I didn't... Okay, Elkberry's Hot Drop Palette. I have this in my eyeshadow palette category. I use it a total of 13 times. I don't believe. I use this palette like every single day. So the fact that I only said I used it 13 times is an absolute lie. Maybe as eyeshadow, but I use it for this shadow. I bring it up every single time I talk about this palette, but I just repress this because I use it as my under eye shadow or under eye setting powder and I just really like it for that it's it's just a light pink powder <laughs> is it absolutely spectacular do you have to try to find this on Mercari to have this no but MVP either way in terms of eyeshadow palette that is MVP it is the DD signature taste of guava eyeshadow palette now I did it get ready with me I don't know if it's live yet probably not but I did like my official review of this palette and my official review is it's fine <laughs> Now this shadow I put too much pressure in and it broke. This shadow came broken. I like the pink. It's not my favorite pink and then this shadow is pretty but it's not the most spectacular but I love this shadow right here. So I am just very underwhelmed with this quad but I used it five times. Runner up in terms of eyeshadow palette usage is the child from Colourpop. I have this in my deck of panty project pan so I used this four times in February to get usage out of it. And then I just have a lot of MVPs for eyeshadow palettes. Yes, in terms of usage, but also because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I use for different purposes. So Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette Holiday, you can't get it anymore. This palette is just my go-to because it's just, this is my finishing touch palette. When I've done the rest of my makeup and I just feel like I need a little something extra I go into this palette star cowgirl space cowboy I use wild dipper rises again in my inner corner it's just so good I love this palette I don't think though this is the same space cowboy that you get in a single something just tells me I don't have the individual space cowboy but something tells me it's slightly different here it's just a gut feeling 
and I'm not sure if that's positive or negative gut feeling, but single eyeshadows, used it today, About Face, Tin Pan Alley. I used this as a base in my inner corner, and then I went in with the Mousse Nuts palette to top it off. I love Tin Pan Alley. If y'all were with me last year, I talked non-stop about this eyeshadow. It is so metallic, it is so foiled, it's so brightening, it is so beautiful. I can't get enough of this. Eyeliners, I have a lot because of a lot of different purposes. So overall, winner is e.l.f. Bombshell. This is, again, in a project pan. I used this a total of nine times, my goal. It uses 10 times in the product, so if we're talking straightly out of the product, I've used it 7 times, but this is just a beautiful pink base. I just love a blushy eyeshadow look. This is probably going to be another MVP in March. In terms of just an eyeliner, the Kaleidos Multichrome Eyeliner in 7 Cs. I'm trying to use this up this year. I don't know. Some days I love this eyeliner, and some days I hate it. So I don't know. In terms of just like a black, another eyeliner, it's the NYX Epic Wear Black Eyeliner. I show it off. Look how tiny that is. Uh, look how itty bitty that is. So I'm trying to use this eyeliner up as well this year. Some days I just want to block in my lower lash line. Some days I just want to be an emo grungy girl and that's totally okay. Lip products i didn't include glosses on here because my lip category i have lip liner separate which i use today and nyx natural used this 15 times i'm gonna put it away because i want to use other lip liners i use natural 15 times in february it is just the most perfect my lips but better it paired beautifully with charlotte tilbury pillow talk which i am considering an empty i did scoop out what was in there as a lipstick i use this 20 times y'all know i love this lipstick so i'm gonna put this in my empties little box and completely miss it so i took my empty which will be a favorite lawless forget the filler um, the OG one I finished, I used it three times, and then I put the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in here while was the remnants of it, and I went, and I moved this to my blush category, so my goal for March is to use that as a blush and use it up, and that would mean that I've used up a blush this year, which means I could buy a freaking new blush. <laughs> I just want to buy a new blush. I'm sorry, Lucy. I just want to buy a new blush this year. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, uh, lip prep. Just talked about the forget the filler. It's an MVP because I finished it even though it only took three uses. Elfberry Hot Drop is my next lip product that I want to pan and we're good progress on here. Good progress. I'm not taking progress pictures of a lot of stuff, but I'm just saying I'm making good progress. I used a total of 11 times. Still have a lot of... I don't know when these videos are going up. I have no idea. And I spoiled like the majority of my low buy. I just realized that. But those are my MVPs for February. I had a lot of fun. I know I missed some MVPs in terms of glosses and lips stuff that I used just on their own like but an MVP, whether or not it's by usage or not, I don't I don't care. It's gonna be an MVP, is the half magic glitter bomb lip gloss. It's kind of worn off on my lips, but it just looks so wet and juicy. I love it so much. This it doesn't last long on the lips, it's a gloss, it doesn't last very long, but like initial application and long enough for video filming. Oh, so good. So thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Let me know what your MVPs for February were, whether they were by usage, did you buy a new palette, did you buy a new blush, what do you fall in love with in February? I'd love to hear from you and whether or not you bought it or just used it a lot in February. Let me know down below and as always, have joy.